Henry Halleck by Kate Rinkemeyer. Early Life Henry Halleck was born on January 16, 1815, in Westernville, New York. Henry was born on his family farm, but at a young age, ran away from home because he did not like farm work. Henry was raised mainly by his uncle, David Halleck. His uncle is the one who got him involved with military education. At the age of 20, Henry started to attend West Point Military Academy and graduated in 1839 as third in his class. On the left, we see a photo of Henry Halleck. On the right, we see a photo of West Point Military Academy. After graduation, Henry became second lieutenant in the Army Corps of Engineers after graduating from West Point. As the second lieutenant, he helped create defenses to protect the New York Harbor. Henry was also sent to France to learn more about European fortifications. When he returned, Henry took lectures on the science of war that were later published in 1846 and named Elements of Military Art and Science. Elements of Military Art and Science was later used as a textbook for the volunteer officers during the Civil War. Elements of Military Art and Science can still be purchased today. This is where Henry's nickname Old Brains comes from. On these two images, we see elements of military art and science in books that can be bought today in stores. The Mexican-American War At the start of the war, Henry was sent to California. On Henry's way, he translated Antoni Henry Jomini's study of Napoleon into an English translation. Instead of being around the fighting action, Henry was mostly involved in administrative functions. While Henry was in California, he helped draft California's first state constitution, established a law firm, and became Secretary of State of California. Henry ended up working with a law firm that did so well that he ended up resigning from the Army in 1854. Henry then got married to Elizabeth Hamilton. Civil War Henry sided with the Union during the Civil War. President Abraham Lincoln made him a full major general. Henry's first assignment was being sent to St. Louis, Missouri to replace John Fremont, who was losing control of the Department of the Missouri. After a few months, Henry was able to restore order to the department. He ended unnecessary bureaucracy and repealed any remaining orders from Vermont. Henry was a good organizer, but was an awful strategist. Once in Corinth, Mississippi, when Henry was leading troops, he was overly cautious, and even though the Confederate Army of Tennessee had half the strength of the Union soldiers, they were able to escape intact. Even through this fault, President Lincoln moved Henry to the position of General-in-Chief of all Union forces. Henry immediately took the role of advisory over the role of strategist, so he didn't have to be blamed for more Union defeat. In this map image, on the left, we see the Corneth battlefield where this battle took place. On the right, we see Corneth siege that also took place. During his role as General-in-Chief of all Union forces, Henry was unable to get along with any of his subordinate commanders or any of his superiors. Henry's orders were also never followed by his subordinate commanders, which upset him. In 1864, President Lincoln moved Henry to the role of Chief of Staff, and the role of General-in-Chief of all Union forces was given to Ulysses Grant. Throughout the rest of the Civil War, Henry was in charge of making sure the Northern armies were fed properly, properly equipped, and reinforced as much as needed. Henry did this job very well. Final Life Eventually, Henry was sent back to California to command the Military Division of the Pacific, and then later sent to the Division of the South in Kentucky. In 1872, Henry died in Louisville, Kentucky. Henry died due to complications from liver and heart disease. Henry Halleck today is now buried in Greenwood Cemetery in Brooklyn, New York. This is an image of Henry Halleck's grave that is located in the Greenwood Cemetery in New York.